back again with another video. Today I want to start with letting you know that Bubble Token Presale has sold out if you don't know already. We will be listing on Uniswap very shortly, okay, and we have a countdown on the website. Um, if you're not sure about what the time is in your country for your time zone, it will be at 5 p.m. tomorrow, Monday, November the 23rd, 2020. All right, guys, literally one day, 90 minutes left. All right, guys, so, yeah, like I said, if you don't know the time zone in your country, there is a countdown timer on the website uh, for clarity. Go and check that out, guys. At the listing rate, you will only be able to get 80 BBL for one Ethereum, okay? Pre-sale was 160 BBL, but as we said, we would list it at 2X. We are fulfilling that promise. All right, let me know what you think in the comments about BBL. Did you miss out on the pre-sale? If you did, there is a second chance to get in it. If you can get in from the beginning, I anticipate, you know, um, a lot of traffic going through it as soon as it lists, or at least I hope so. All right, um, moving on to O10. Guys, I wanted to look at O10 because there is actually some news out on this. All right, but looking at the chart as well, it does look like it is trying to come up and test this resistance level, okay? And if it can, get a break, uh, we could potentially see a move higher for O10, uh, whether it gets rejected here, comes down and then tries to test it again, maybe. Um, we have to wait and see. Um, I'm anticipating a breakout, potentially. Obviously, it's been down under this level for just a little hot minute. All right, we're looking at about all right, less than a week um, or, or just over a week uh, from 15 to, okay, less than a week. All right, um, underneath this level, but you know, if we can gain some ground above here, at least then we can know that it is trying to uh, move in the right direction. Uh, like I said, I am anticipating a move on that. And one of the reasons being is the fact that they have launched their farming. Okay, what is Go10, the next step for O10 ecosystem? This was released only a couple of hours ago. It's a three minute read, so we might as well read through it. And after that, I want to cover a coin that has been requested by my community in Telegram, um, MPH. Uh, I like to, uh, you know, send a little message out and ask what people want me to cover um, so I can have a look at it myself. And I haven't had a look at it, but I do have it on CoinGecko and I saw there's a website so I can have a look at it for you guys. And uh, hopefully uh, some good news or a good opinion from me on that. But let's just go back to Go10. All right, so Go10 is a complimentary project created by the only 10 team. It will provide a new incentive to liquidity providers for the whole O10 ecosystem and increase the long-term viability of the project. If you don't know what O10 is, by the way, it is a cryptocurrency that has only 10 tokens, all right? Um, at its peak at about 33K, that would have made it the second most valuable ever cryptocurrency, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, behind Yearn Finance. All right. At the time when it hit 33k, it would have been the most expensive cryptocurrency at all. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm um, glad to have played a part in that because you know I saw that happen. I played a part in that happening. I did a video, and then the next thing you know, we saw it, you know, going to the moon. But um, yeah, with with with, with, a, with, a, with a coin like O10, obviously going back to the chart, with a coin like O10, we saw that pump up there. But um, I can see like. Definitely, you know, huge market cap for this. And obviously, with that market cap being di divided into only 10 tokens, you can only imagine what one coin could be worth. Um, so you might want to, you know, just hold a little bit of O10 at least, just in case something happens. That's just my opinion, guys, all right? So let's just go back to the article. So we got to back here. We had multiple incentives to increase the O10 if liquidity, including competition and NFTs for liquidity providers, we believed as a team that we could do more. That's why we created Go10 as a next step in our ecosystem. How does it work? Go10 is a native ERC20 token with a max supply of 100K. It will be available at first for a pre-sale, which will take place December the 1st. All right, so they've got a pre-sale, December the 1st, all right, and um, I guess they will announce it when it goes live because it doesn't say what time. Uh, December the 1st is roughly about a week and a couple of days away. So it doesn't say how long the pre-sale is going to run for also. Uh, that would be nice to know. But um, the hard cap is 50 Ethereum. Okay, so I believe they will reach that quite easily. The price will be 200 Go10 per Ethereum. So all unsold tokens will be airdropped to pre-sale participants, right? So 
if you buy O10 and they all don't sell, you will also get airdrop whatever's left, right? Um, divided between you guys. So um, minimum purchase is 0 0.5 Ethereum, maximum purchase is free Ethereum. Okay, so that makes it quite fair. You know, you can't really buy a lot of it and become a whale. Um, so I, I like that idea as well. You know, um, 0 0.5 Ethereum minimum, um, that's not too unachievable for a lot of people in crypto. And if we're not 0.5 Bitcoin, obviously, it'll be different, wasn't it? But um, free Ethereum max, no KYC, contract will be made available shortly. There will be no burn during pre-sale, so investors get the full amount. Fund allocation will be for the initial liquidity on Uniswap and marketing. Liquidity will be locked on Unicrypt. And we know that um, with O10 token, they locked their the liquidity for 30 years on the O10 token. So we can trust these guys, right? I personally know um, a member of the, the O10 team as well. So, um, you know, I know they, they are people that you can trust. All right, guys, hence why I'm happy to get beyond this video. It's not a paid video or anything like that. But um, I do know the team or a member of the team at least. And, um, you know, I, I do believe he's trustworthy um, due to my dealings with him. And based on the history of the O10 token, with liquidity being locked for 30 years and stuff like that. All right, so total supply is 100,000 go 10. Pre-sale is 10,000 go 10. Uniswap liquidity is 10,000 go 10. Marketing 10,000 go 10. Farming rewards 60,000 go 10. Team 10,000 go 10. Launch date Monday, December the 1st at 11 p.m. And I believe that would, that's what it's talking about, the, the, the pre-sale. So I said before, it didn't have the time uh, somewhere around there. But yeah, it does look like they do have the time after all. 1st of December at 11 p.m. PST. Now, symbol, it will be GO10, of course. Initial listing price will be 140 GO10 to 1 Ethereum. Um, so it was 200 GO10, the price to 1 Ethereum. So basically, if you're buying it at a pre sale, you're getting at least 60 tokens for free, basically, by the time you get to listing. All right? So there you go. Initial supply is 40,000, max supply is 100,000. Launch date will be Saturday, December the 5th. Okay, so the pre-sale is only going to last for four days, right? Five days, if you count the first, right? So, like I said before, it didn't say how long it was going to last, but, you know, it actually does. My bad. Yield farming with Go10 is a new concept in the digital world where farmers or liquidity providers deposit their crypto assets into the liquidity pool or lock up their crypto assets using permissionless protocols and earn staking rewards in the form of fees on providing liquidity to the pool. In return, you'll be soon able to farm Go10 by staking your LP tokens. Withdrawal fee, CDLs for each pool, transfer fee to compensate emissions from yield farming. Reward the holders. Once the mining event has completed, supply will slowly decrease with transfer fees until there is only 10k left. Only 10. <laughs> only 10k this time. How is it deflationary? Whenever there's a Go10 transfer, there will be a burn above 50k supply. The burn will be set to 7.5% to reduce inflation. And when supply decreases below 50k supply, burn will be set at 3.75%. Okay, so what, what you can do is you can write uh, um, code into the contract where you are able to adjust the burn rate, okay? And that's what they've done here. And they, they're, they're basically gonna start it at 7.5% while it's above 50K supply. When it drops below that, it's gonna drop to 3.75% supply. And then that will reduce until uh, there will be no burn below 10K supply. So that will reduce until it's a 10K supply, okay? Which pools will be available for one go 10 e launch december 5th staking fee on state fee uh, it's got the details of the pools i'm going to leave a link for the article for you guys all right but that is o10 uh, sorry go 10 farming the website is this let's have a click on that is this the actual site i wonder okay right it is so that is up and running you can go and check that out all right, guys, I'll leave a link for the article so you'll be able to go and take a look at that. All right, but that is interesting. Uh, O10, obviously, they've got the burn ratio as well. Um, obviously, that's quite similar to what we're doing yeah, at Bubble. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, definitely, you know, agree with the model. You know, I, I couldn't say I don't, could I really? But, um, yeah. 
Happy days. Moving on to MPH. All right now, I don't really know much about this, and like 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 some of you guys have said, you've requested it in the group. Um, if you're not in the group, obviously, I'm talking about my Telegram group. Um, so I'm having a look straight away. I can see a bit of a flag on there or a triangle. Okay, so let's just draw that out. Let's see if we can get these lines right. We don't need to do it too neatly, do we? So that is a triangle that I'm seeing right now. It does look like it actually did get a break out of this. If we go from here, you can see that that kind of broke out over there, but it's formed a new triangle and it wicked up here and came back down. All right, guys, so it is heading towards the apex of this triangle. Whether this will do a little U shape and uh, come back to test this level and then break out decisively, um, you know, that's what you'll be waiting for. I would potentially buy the breakout if that was the case on this. All right, guys, obviously, if it comes down and it falls out of this range, you have to wait and see whether the candles do close outside of that range. It might fall down a little bit further. Um, it would need to see volume as well to bring that breakout outside of this level. But that aside, let's just have a look and see what it actually is. So it's MPH with a ticker, and it seems to be 88 MPH, 88 miles an hour. Is that what st that stands for? Guess I'll find out in a minute. It is on CoinGecko, 11.1 million market cap. Okay, so it's not high, but it's not low compared to some uh, low cap gems. All right, but um, yeah, it's, it's still under you know 20 million. It's 11 million. Probably only just kind of like reached over. 10 million obviously seeing this pump over here but um the maximum supply is 229,842 but um if we just go to the website and have a look of course you can see the price point at the moment 125 uh just under 126 dollars okay so basically it looks like you can earn a fixed rate interest on your crypto and mph rewards so it's a staking farming platform whatever you want to call it um, what I'm actually looking for is the information um, and I haven't looked at this. I literally just briefly had a look at it when I when I opened it. I'd like to see um, about, there's no about on here. Um, I'm looking for, okay, we just go, go on a medium article. So AEA MPH, back to the future of DeFi. Um, with, okay, so that's an update to the to the article i'm going to guess that this is the original article which was posted on november the 16th okay so lend your crypto assets at a fixed interest rate with infinite liquidity this is heavy but there is more when you deposit you earn up for an mph that can be staked to receive system rewards you can also buy floating rate bonds if you want to degen in prod sounds great too good to be true dive in the details below so we just quickly have a look at this um, the video is going on for some time now so we we'll just get on with it okay so to get started deposit plain stable coins or tokens USDC uni CRV and so on which we put into DeFi yield protocols such as compound of yen your fixed rate APY is determined by a floating rate EMA pulled from these protocols you will get 75 percent of the current EMA that's good so after depositing in the pool, you receive an ERC721 non-fungible token that represents your deposit. You may transfer it to another account or even sell it on NFT markets such as OpenSea. I've never heard of OpenSea. I know Rarible. I'm not sure about OpenSea. I might have to check that out. So by depositing into AEA MPH, you immediately earn MPH tokens. When your lending period is over, you withdraw your principal together with a fixed rate interest earned. When you withdraw, you need to return 90% of the MPH tokens received at the time of deposit. We don't destroy any value in that process. All the MPH are redirected to the governance treasury that will play a critical role in future developments and protocols. Incentives don't ask when burn, except for the deposit NFT and some asphalt. Uh, we don't burn anything else here. More on that below. And they've got staking, which, uh, you know, I really don't have time to go through the whole project. But um, yeah, it does look like uh, it's quite a, uh, it's not a simple uh, thing to understand. I will need to read it and kind of like take time on this if I'm being honest, all right? So um, yeah, this is maybe this is not a, an article that I have time to go through on the video, but looking at the, the maximum supply and the market cap and looking at the chart structure, it does seem to be quite new and it may have been trended on Dex Tools uh, somewhat earlier 
Um, I haven't had time to check, but I know, all right, so it's, trade, it's trending number one on Dex tools, okay? So that's a good thing. Uh, but obviously it is already up quite high already. Uh, it is uh, kind of putting in a triangle. Uh, we're looking at almost 1800% at its local top. All right, so if that does get a breakout, you know, how much further will it go up at this stage? And uh, but it does look like quite a nice shape and it is trending at the end of the day. If it, obviously if it breaks this level, then it is going to put in a new all time high and all of this area is price discovery. OK, so keep your eyes out for that one. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Follow me on all the social medias, you know, so uh, Twitter, Instagram. Remember, Bubble Token Network is going live uh, tomorrow on Uniswap. OK, so don't miss out on that. Thank you for all the support, guys. Uh, we did fully sell out on a pre-sale. Not sure if I said it earlier, but, you know, definitely a success, definitely a result. I'm happy with. Couldn't have asked for more than the selling out on pre-sale. All right, guys, so I do appreciate all the support. Keep your eyes peeled for more news on Bubble. Keep your eyes peeled for more developments on Bubble. Keep your eyes peeled for the roadmap updates on Bubble. Okay, that's about it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video.